But it's like, hey, God has more love than a natural father. So why don't we think, why do we think that God will give us anything different? That's right? But right? well, we're going to show how we know we are the children of Israel today. And then we're going to get into some sins that we need to fix about ourselves. You understand the sins that the children of Israel fell into, right? Come on, Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right, come on. Let's start at verse 1. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe and to do all his commandments, right. which I command thee this day, right. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. This is part of, this is the promise that Most High God gave Moses. That's right. That if we kept his commandments, he would set us on high above who? All nations of the earth. That's right. Right? That's rulership on the face of this earth. But right now, where are people at? We're on the bottom, right? We're on the bottom. Bring it out. So, let's get, let's get that in 1 John. Hold that. Get that in 1 John. Because this is another question that we asked earlier, Darlene, was what was sin? What is sin, Darlene? Say again. What is sin? Uh-huh. A lot of it is going around. A lot of it is going around? <laughs> All right, let me <laughs> ask you this, too. Thou shalt not steal. Go ahead. That's good. That's good. Right? But those are some of the base level things that we know, right? I that we were given. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not kill, commit adultery, bear false witness, right? All those things, right? And all those things we do, right? And that we're trying to fix. We're trying to renew our minds from those things, right? Right. So let's find out what sin is according to the Bible. Come on. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So this right here, Miss Darlene, sin is the transgression of the law. And this right here is in the New Testament. Okay. So let me ask you this. Have you were you were you raised in church? Yeah. You were raised in church? Yeah. Baptist? Okay, okay, Baptist, okay. So that's the thing. A lot of us were raised in the church, right? But we were taught that God's laws were done away with. Is that something that you heard before? You never heard that before? You never heard that before? Okay. I never heard that. Okay, okay. Well, good, good, good. But is God laws taught in the church for you to keep? Supposedly. Yeah. And supposedly, yeah? Okay. Well, we're going we're gonna to find out. We're going to bring out some of God's laws. Once we go through Deuteronomy 28, we're going to bring out some of God's laws to see if we are taught those in the church. All right? Y'all understand that? We just taught the Ten Commandments, right? But they kind of remixed it. So what's what's one of the Ten Commandments you was what's one of the Ten Commandments you was not taught? Because if you say you was taught the Ten Commandments, what's one of the ones you were not taught? I bet I could show you. Show me. Give me that. Let me get Exodus 20 and verse 8. Go ahead. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it Remember the seventh day to keep it holy six days shall thou labor and do all thy work but the seventh day is the seventh of our lord thy god so let me ask you what day of the week did you go to church on sunday sunday is not the sabbath but today is the sabbath right huh? like seven day adventists they might have the day right but how to keep the sabbath they don't you understand? They say from what? 6 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Yeah. 6 p.m. to 6 p.m., right? So we're going to see when the Sabbath day was created, right? We're going to see when the Sabbath day was created and how it was created, how it was laid out, all right? Let's get that. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished uh -huh. and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. He rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. Uh -huh. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because th that in it he had rested from all his work uh -huh. which God created and made. All right, so God on the seventh day, God rested on the Sabbath day, right? So let's find out when the first day is and how the days are laid out, right? Because God made day one, day two, day three, Day four, day five, day six, day seven. 
God didn't make Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You understand? God didn't make it like that. You understand? And in which Sunday is the first day of the week. Hey, give me that in the Bible dictionary. All right. Go ahead and read that the first day. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Uh -huh. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided it. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. Uh -huh. And the darkness he called night. Uh -huh. And the evening. You're paying attention? Yeah. All right. So the light he called day. And the dark he called night. Right? Go ahead. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So which comes first? Morning or evening? You see how you're looking, Darlene? If, 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 if you had a mirror in front of you, you can see, hold on, wait, hold on, wait a minute now. There's something different about this thing, right? Let's read it again, read it again. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So the evening to the morning is one day, right? So the Sabbath was from evening to morning, right? Did it say 6 p.m.? You understand that? You see that? You see the confusion? Plus, the Seventh Day Adventist Church was created when we were where? In slavery. Right? So that's the thing. Nicole is like, man, I know this, right? Was created during those times when we were in bondage and chains, right? So now let's go back. So let's get Nehemiah 10 and 31. That was Exodus. He was in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. Give me Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Come on. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And, and if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So, in church, did they tell you that part of remembering the Sabbath is that you're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath. No. I'm going to teach you that. You're not supposed to buy and sell. You're not supposed to cook. But what they do? At the, at the, at the Sunday church, what do they do? They cook food. Or you go out to the Chinese restaurant. You buy, you sell, you cook, you eat hot food. You understand? You do all that. If they taught you how to keep the Sabbath, why well, don't remember how to keep it? Because they never taught it. They never taught you how to keep God's laws and commandments. All right? So let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Because we read, if we kept God's laws and commandments, he'll put us above all nations on the earth. Right now, we know we're on the bottom. So we know that there was a point we kept God's laws and commandments because we had rulership. And then, excuse me, it was a point to where we didn't keep God's laws and commandments. So now we fail. Now we are in a cursed state. All right, come on, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses will overcome us and overtake us. So we have to look at these things right here. What are these curses that it's talking about? Let's get uh, 46. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. 45, sorry, 45. Come on. Yes, sir. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. So no matter where we go, these curses will pursue us and overtake us. So they're going to follow us. We can move to Trinidad. It's going to follow us there. We can move to Nigeria. It's going to follow us there. You know what I'm saying? We got some brothers and sisters in Liberia. It's going to follow us over there. We got some brothers and sisters in Canada. We got some brothers and sisters in Russia. We got some brothers and sisters in China. Some brothers and sisters scattered through the four corners of the earth. 
in slavery. And regardless of where we go or where we ship to, these things will follow us, right? Come on. Because thou hearkens not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't listen to keep the commandments and we didn't apply that to our lives. Come on. To keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee and, thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So as these curses come out, they are for a sign. So you, are, you can identify who the children of Israel are. And for you to wonder if these things apply to my life. Are these things are the things that my people went through? Are these things the things that I can identify with that, you know what? Yes, this belongs to me. This belongs to my people, right? We're going to see some of those curses. Give me verse 30. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 30. Uh -huh. Thou shalt betroth the wife and another man shall lie with her. When did that happen to us? We had this betrothal process where you lay that broom down and you jump the broom, right? And then what happened? If master like the wife, what are you going to do? He have her. He have her, right? That's what happened to us. We had another people over us. We'll marry a woman and then another man lie with her. Right? That's a curse. That's a curse. That's a curse that happened to us. When the Native Americans were over here and you had the, uh, uh, the conquistadors come over, what did they do? They raped the women. And the women were married to men of Israel. Right? That happened to us as a people. All right? Let's get verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. Who that happened to? That happened to us in slavery, right? So you have some people that say, oh, okay, uh, the so-called white man or the Jews that they are the children of Israel. Were their children given to another people? No, no right? Because what? The so-called Jewish man and the uh, so-called German man or what? Both Caucasian. They're the same people. The Bible just said, your sons and your daughters shall be what? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Another people. Another people. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And we will long for our children and there will be nothing that we could do to get our children back. They'd be sold from plantation to plantation to plantation to plantation and nothing you could do about it. What do they do today? Same the same thing. And they feel like you're not taking care of your children properly. What happened? They sell them. They, huh? they sell them. They, they sell them. Child protective services will come knocking on your door and take your children. Yeah. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Right? What do they do to our so-called Mexican brothers and sisters of the tribe of Ishakar? They deported some of their parents back to Mexico. So what happens? The children are left in the U.S., now in the foster care system. And then what happens? The parents can't get to their children, giving it to another people. Right? And your eyes were fell in longing for them all the day long. That's what happened to us. Verse, verse uh, 48. I know we went over this earlier with Nicole. We're going to give this to you. What's your name, sis? Jerry. Jerry. We're going to give this to you, Jerry. All right? Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. So the Bible just said we'll serve who, Jerry? Huh? Right, our enemies. enemies right. Said that we would serve our enemies for hunger and thirst and in nakedness. So we want water, who we gotta go to? The enemies, the so-called white man. We want we want clothes, we gotta go to the so-called white man. We want food, we gotta go to the so-called white man. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. And in want of all things. If you want a birth certificate, death certificate, if you want a car, if you want a house. You got to go to them, right? Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. You heard that, Jerry? Sis. Y'all heard that? Yeah. What did it say? 
What it say? What it say? Go ahead, read it again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon our neck until he have destroyed us. Right? We were destroyed as a people. Right now, we don't know our nationality. So what's your nationality, Jerry? Indian. You're Indian? What kind of Indian? You Sioux? Uh, Chicktaw? Ch uh, Chickasaw? Cherokee. Cherokee. Cherokee was a mixture of blacks and Native Americans. Right? A lot of our people claim Cherokee. You understand? It's like Blackfoot Creek. You understand? It's different tribes within the so-called Indians or Native Americans. That's and Indian, Indian just means slave.